Don't tip Tuesday. Yeah. All we do is dunk. Don't tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Don't tip Tuesday. Yeah. Today, three Jedi mind tricks to become the best dunker in the world. Don't tip Tuesday. Yeah. All we do is dunk. Don't tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Don't tip Tuesday. No, my bird is going up. Don't tip Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Don't tip Tuesday. No, I do it for my sub. Don't tip Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Don't tip Tuesday. And I ain't never giving up. Don't tip Tuesday. Poppin' baby, welcome back to Dunk Tip Tuesday. We do this every day of the week that's named Tuesday. What's popping? We've been doing it for 30 weeks now, and I think that's exactly accurate, if not more. But let's have some fun. What are we doing? What are you doing? Are you trying to dunk? Are you using the Jedi mind tricks that I'm about to tell you? No, because I haven't told them to you yet. So let's go. Look, on my own dunk journey, feeling amazing. Let's get into it real quick into my own journey. But real quick, also real quick. Everything's the best. So if you're going to watch this whole video, you're going to be a Jedi Sensei s student because I'm the Sensei, but I'm still on the journey. I just may be a little bit ahead of you, but I have people ahead of me, but I've it's 10 years closing in on 10 years. If you watch the last vlog, watch the last vlog. I want to make more of those. You guys give me a little smack on the thumb thing. You freaking thumb me. <laughs> you do all that. You hit the subscribe. You do those buttons. Smash them all. <laughs> Losing my mind. This is a little later in the day for me. This is when I usually unwind and I hit the bed, okay? So you're getting a little delirium, but you also get the creativity. You also get the special energy that you don't get always. So point is, hit those buttons. Helps me out. I make better videos. What's what's win-win? Um, and also in my journey, just hit a PR today. 335 on the deadlift. Yanking it, bro. I can yank more than that. I just don't want to snap my spinal cord because I don't know the correct form. I mean, I know it, but I'm just my mobility's in the works. So that's where we're at. But I'm feeling so strong. I'm dunking at the heaviest I've ever been. If you watch my latest vlog, feeling so amazing, lifting, feeling so strong, strongest I've ever been, heaviest I've ever been. And I'm not trying to get heavy, but I understanding my body. And let's just jump into it. Jedi mind trick number one, body awareness. I say this so much. I've said it so much. I'm going to make it. I'm going to get it tattooed on my friggin. Uh, basketball, not me, because I want to keep my skin pure. That's another story. I'm, I'm not going to, I might get a tattoo. What? What are we talking about? Look, whew, one of the biggest takeaways. So like I said, I'm not exaggerating. I've been doing this since 2011. And uh, this is the biggest takeaway, something I really wish I would have known uh, beforehand and would have helped me avoid so many plateaus, avoid so many injuries, different things like that, and body awareness. So what I mean by that is, and I'm sorry if you already heard this, but I want to dive into it a little bit more. Body awareness is the ability to understand what you're causing your body to respond to, what stimulus you're giving your body, understanding what your body needs. That's all I mean by it. But simply put is, are you using the right muscles? For example, when you deadlift, if you're like me, you're, you're a maniac, you have a lot of energy, you want to rip weight off the floor. You want to just lift more weight than you could possibly lift. That doesn't make sense. But you want to lift more weight. So your form starts to break down. You're like, I don't give a f throw more, f throw 20 pounds on. I don't give a, f I don't give a, f right? But you don't want to just cheat that. You want to do it the correct way. You want to engage your core. You want to have that connection to engage your hamstrings and your glutes so you're pulling with the right muscles. So you're doing it safely because if you're doing it safely, you can continuously make progress and jump to eternity. And so having that body awareness is, one, going to help you lift correctly, and two, it's going to help you understand what you need because as, co as a coach myself but as coaches that I work with, is they can only tell you what to do, but you have to have the intensity. You have to push your body uh, in the ways it needs to be pushed. So you have to find that. And yes, this may be way down the line for 90% of you, but I want you guys to have all the keys and then use them when you need them. And what I mean by that is later down the line, when you get to a certain level of athleticism, your certain level of vertical jumping, you're going to have to get stronger or maybe you're at the beginning, even at the beginning phases, where you're at, some people are super strong but slow. Some people are super fast but weak. But you have to understand, are you pushing yourself to the max when you do these plyometric movements, when you do these explosive movements? Are you pushing yourself to the max when you're doing strength? Are you doing it with the right intention? Are you moving the weight fast? Is that even your goal right now? Or are you trying to build some strength so it's okay to move it slow? These are all things that if you understand your body and what you're using it and how you're using it during these lifts and during these exercises, you're going to develop such a better awareness for what you're creating your body to be. Because for me... I didn't know that. So a simple example is 
I was always a dunker, meaning I was always sprinting. I never did anything endurance. So I was conditioning myself unknowingly to be uh, an explosive athlete, right? So now down the line, I have a, I had a fear of like doing some endurance things or because I felt like it was going to move my body to slow twitch. But that's that's such a far away from where I am on the spectrum of an athlete. I would have to do ultra marathons to really take away from my explosiveness. And I learned that through books, but also through body awareness, because if I can feel my body and understand what I'm feeling, I can understand that running or jogging is still an explosive movement. And I'm not going to be running hundreds of miles. I'm just going to be running some endurance, get blood flow, understand what that means. So I have, I know this is kind of vague, but just understanding your body, understanding your muscles, feeling your muscles, getting to know them, how they're feeling after lifts, how they're feeling when you're jumping. Do you feel speedy? Do you feel sluggish? Do you feel stiff? Do you feel mober? mobile? Do you feel limber? Do you feel loose? Do you feel fluid? All these different things are things that you can get in tune with. All right, let's move on to number two. So number two, definitely one of my favorite things about this journey. And if you've followed me at all, you probably heard me say it already, but it's really powerful. Visualization. Quick story. I couldn't two-hand dribble dunk, still barely can on 10 feet. Couldn't do it for three years. Visualized it, got it in three months. I'm going to make a whole video on that. But the point is, I couldn't even see myself doing it in my mind's eye. So there's, there's two parts to this. One, you have to be able to see yourself doing it in your mind's eye or in your be able to visualize yourself achieving the dream before you can do it in this physical reality. I'm not going to get too deep into why, but if you can understand that and think about it, I can't even see myself doing it in my mind's eye. How am I ever going to do it in this physical realm? That is just something that will teach you a lot about what you're thinking and how you believe in yourself, which is the back of the shirt. Can you see it? There it is live. Okay. <laughs> Now, the other side of that, besides what you what you maybe doubt in yourself, is what you can achieve through your visualization. Because a lot of times you've heard the, the saying, open the floodgates, where you land a dunk or you land a new trick or you land something or you do something for the first time. Now you could do it all the time. Now your belief changed. Now you, you've seen it go through the rim. You felt it go through the rim, right? You can do that all in your mind. A quick story is anything you visualize can change your current body. If you think of a buzzer beater shot that you had, if you think about winning a dunk competition, getting your first dunk, you may get excited. You may get your palms sweating. Simple proof that a thought can change your current body. So use this to your advantage. Quick tips on visualization is take time, space, calm, breathe about six deep breaths. Then just think about achieving that goal, that dream that you wish you could do and visualize yourself achieving it and what you would actually think in that moment, what it would feel like and use all five senses. Use your sight, your sound, your smell, all the other senses. I don't even know them, but you use those, right? And you feel like when you land that dunk, what would you say? What would you feel? And do that over and over and over again because then your body starts to already act it out. You're already building that muscle memory within your mind before you actually do it. And now when you repeat a dunk, when you're practicing technique, when you're practicing lifting, when you're carving new patterns in your brain, you're doing things with your physical body, but it's repeating a mental pattern. So you can repeat that mental pattern without even using your physical physical body. And that is why it's a Jedi mind trick because it's going to elevate you to the next level instantly. Jedi mind trick number three, which is something I, I got reinforced from this book I just finished, which I'm a huge fan on the art of resilience by Ross Edgley is positivity. Now he has a chapter, a whole chapter dedicated to how smiling makes you stronger. Now he has all these studies. I'm not going to go into them, but basically when he smiles or studies that have been done, when people are smiling, their performance is enhanced because their body's in a better state and their their perception of their fatigue is reduced. So not only can they perform better, but they can perform longer. So simply put, smiling can help your performance. Think of all the positive a uh, actions you can do in your life and thinks, uh, thinks and thoughts that you can have. What the f am I saying? All the positive actions, all the positive thoughts that you can do that can affect every single workout that you do every single moment, use that huge shift to your advantage. And the reason I say that is because if you achieve that goal in Jedi mind trick number two, you would feel freaking amazing. You might feel confident. You might feel ecstatic. You might feel like the freaking man. You might go talk to the freaking girl right there because you're like, you see that girl? You see that? Don't worry. Yeah, I'm, I mean, something I do, something I do, you know? And that's my, how, how you feel. I mean, I felt good right there. I just got in the moment right there. So the point is those feelings are felt when you're achieving a great goal. So if you can uh, manufacture, I don't want to use that word because it feels like you're making them up, but if you can try to act that way, 
One, the spirituality, spirituality side is you're going to draw that experience into your realm of possibility. But two, you're going to perform better. Your physical body is going to be in a different state to do better and bigger things. So the big thing about positivity is that if you're not positive, what are you? Are you neutral? No, you're the other way. So there is no neutrality. There is no nothing. If I say, hey, I'm not doing anything today, sitting the earth is spinning. It's going. Neil deGrasse Tyson just taught me we're moving at 800 miles an hour. If the earth stops for one second, everything's freaking moving, right? So we're always moving. I was just thinking about this today. I'm standing on, on – if I'm standing for a long time, I get tired. I want to sit down. Your body starts to hurt, right? That's gravity just yanking us down. It's not just that we're just tired. We're getting constantly pulled to the earth. So – Point being is that we're never sitting still. We're going one way or the other way. So if you're not reinforcing positivity, if you're not waking up and smiling at the, at the sky, which is what I do because it's like, woo, telling my body I'm having a great day right from the start. And I look like a pretty happy guy, don't I? <laughs> um, your, your subconscious is going to go the other way. Our subconscious is defaultly geared towards negative, not just negative, but doubts and fears because it's just trying to protect us. So reinforce positive movements, some quick tips, wake up, smile at nothing, listen to inspiration, listen to some good music. Think about it. it's going to be a freaking perfect day. If you follow my Instagram, if you follow my stories, if you follow my freaking content, if you listen to anything I do, if you listen to my raps, if you listen to my podcast, I do so many things. If you listen to any of them, I'm really big on saying that. I'll post it so you guys have to read it. If you watch my story, it'll be like, today's a perfect day. It's freaking seven in the morning. We have no idea what's going to happen, but we make it happen. Okay. <laughs> Favorite podcast of all time. So, or whatever this is, Don Tip Tuesday. Don Tip Tuesday. So. Use that positivity to your advantage, not only to your advantage, but to avoid the other way. But positivity can help in so many big ways. So that's freaking Dunk Tip Tuesday. I'm out of here, and I'm going to play this out to roll this out. Thank you for watching. Thanks for smashing all the buttons. I hope – please share this with somebody. I had so much fun making this, and I'm just yelling at the camera. Let's go. Woo. Dunk Tip Tuesday. All we do is talk. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. You don't want to Tuesday. No, my bird is going up. Slowly, but it's going. And I do it for the love. Go to Tuesday. You know I do it for myself. That's you. Go to Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Go to never satisfied. Tuesday. Journey never ends. And I ain't never giving up. Not ever. Tuesday. Yo, freestyle on it. Should I make a verse? If you subscribe, that's a 